If you use WooCommerce for WordPress, then you can connect it to your MailChimp account. And by doing so, you can synchronize customer data, sales data from sales of your products into your MailChimp list, and then use that information to do things like send abandoned cart emails, product retargeting emails, order notifications, and a whole bunch more. So let's look at how we can connect WooCommerce to MailChimp. So in our MailChimp account, we can go to account, extras, and API keys. And we're going to either create a new API key or grab an existing one. So in WordPress, I'm assuming you have WooCommerce installed because you're watching this, but I also assume that you have MailChimp for WooCommerce installed. And this typically installs when you install WordPress to begin with. If not, grab the MailChimp for WooCommerce plugin from the plugin directory from WordPress. Once you've added it, once you have activated it, you can go to MailChimp and then connect and then paste in that API key that we grabbed from this screen right here and hit save. So now we've saved the settings, our store settings. We have to make sure all of this is filled in and then we can click over to audience defaults. So we can say the default from name is Chimperu. The default subject is this, the default, or sorry, the default email address is, is this, the default subject is this, the language is this, and the permission reminder message is this. Then we can click save. So now we see this tab that wasn't there a second ago. We'll click on audience settings and we'll sync our store, our WooCommerce store with this audience. So in this example is Chimperu. During initial sync, auto subscribe existing customers. We're gonna say yes, because that's what we want. And we can have our checkbox for our store that says subscribe to our newsletter visible and checked by default visible unchecked or hidden and unchecked. So let's just leave it visible and checked for now. Then we can just click save here. Oh, actually, before we do that, we can add tags. So we can say this is a woo buyer. So every time somebody buys and they're synced with MailChimp, they'll be tagged with woo buyer. We'll click save and now it will sync. So now we have connected it and you can look at the logs. If anything ever goes wrong, you can look at these logs, but we have connected WooCommerce to MailChimp. So now if we go back into MailChimp and we go to connected sites, we'll see that our WooCommerce store has been connected since this date and this time. So now we can do things like add a pop-up form to the site. We can send an abandoned cart email by clicking add. We can do product retargeting emails, or we can even do order notifications. Should you ever not want to use WooCommerce or disconnect it, we simply hit disconnect. But for now, every time a person buys a product from our WooCommerce store, they will be passed over to MailChimp, they will be tagged with the tag that we created for them, and they will have e-commerce data associated with their contact information, saying typically the product name and how much the product cost. So that's how you do it. That's how you connect WooCommerce to MailChimp. Thanks for watching.